Club. We also have uh, Manuel. Nana, Manuel Kuranting, who is on the University of Ghana campus, and so we'll be bringing you the updates. But yes, uh, anyway, we've heard the, the issues that have been raised by the lecturers UTAG, and then we've also heard from the National, National Labor, Labor Commission, Commission Executive Secretary. Yeah. I, well, the lecturers are, are happy, and IES thinks that that's heartwarming, a better approach not to declare their strike illegal, yeah. but want to listen to them. To them. Because you don't want to get antagonistic at this point in time. No, you don't. I mean, and um, I, I'm not too sure who it was that said that, you know, they had hoped for a negotiation as opposed to a threat. Um, but I think that we're human. And from 2008 running through to 2012 and 2021, if your salary was supposed to be something and it has actually gone below that, I don't really feel that um, you're in the mood to necessarily negotiate, you know, especially when, you know, perhaps off the record responses from governments have been, where do you expect us to get the money from? We don't care where you get the money from. We provide a service for you and we expect to get paid. Now I'm listening to PhD holders, you know, negotiate for $1,500. And it's actually quite sad because PhD holders all over the world are paid pretty good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So for a PhD holder to be negotiating for $1,500, $2,000, um, you know, it, it also ties into the quality of education conversation. If we, we want a certain quality, then we have to be willing to pay a certain premium for it. We have to have people who have been educated in Harvard or Oxford or Yale want to come home and come and teach. I know they say teaching is a calling. And so it's something that you do, but you still need to feed your family, yeah. you know, and you still need to have your pensions paid, yeah. you know. So this is a conversation. Every time we talk about teacher salaries and nurses' salaries, I get so riled up because sometimes it's just so unfair. You don't like to see people fight for what they deserve. You kind of just want it to be quite straightforward. You promised us this. It's 10 years later. You know, just deliver. Let's not do all of this. And mind you, this morning, there's students who are in school, Whose parents are probably, you know, like tomato sellers or macola women who have struggled to get that school fees money. You know what I mean? I mean, school fees is maybe what, 2,500, 3,000 um, CDs a semester. For somebody, this is months and months and months of hard work to get their children, you know, into school to get an education. And then Monday morning, here we are, you know, teachers are on strike. You know, the kids are probably anxious. You know, some of them are probably happy because it means that they can chill um, <laughs> because they obviously may not understand the ramifications. <laughs> long term exactly yeah. there is that too you know but it's a lot of different things but for me i feel like let's come to the table let's 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 work on paying reasonable salaries you know what sure. i mean so um i think we're crossing over to legon i yes. mean um, university of manuel. ghana manuel Kranting Cr is um there hi manuel good morning manuel, manuel. Okay, that was the frequency, like, what was that? <laughs> um, but we'll be crossing over to the University of Ghana campus um, soon, because we want to know there as well. Okay, there he is. Okay, hi, Manuel. Mm. Hi, anyone. Good morning. Oh, the lecture hall is empty. Absolutely. You know, a look and feel of how a lecture hall, which has a capacity of about 250 mm. um, students, is this morning totally empty. Well, if you know the University of Ghana schedule very well, um, its lectures start from 7.30 a.m. And so, properly speaking, by this time, this class should have been full to capacity. But the opposite is actually what is happening, uh, giving you an indication that indeed, the strike of the University Teachers Association of Ghana, as was so declared sometime last week to take effect this morning, is now in full force. And so there's absolutely nobody here. I see a couple of the students, uh, while I walked into um, the lecture hall, standing outside, a bit stranded, because indeed, um, the indication is that for some of them, they did not even know that um, their lecturers were striking effective this morning. And so some of them are even sitting outside. You can see them um, with their heads um, on the table. Um, I, I spoke to a couple of them outside, and uh, you can see them having a conversation. Uh, be jaw drawing and thinking whether or not their lecturers are indeed um, going to come for the lectures. I'll just try and get a bit closer um, to them this morning and then uh, speak to them about um, where they are coming from 
and why uh, they are still you know, um, around here. But I think you can come a bit closer so we have a quick conversation. Right, so these are some of the students at the University of Ghana who um, had lectures this morning. And for them, they were really hopeful of having to uh, meet their lecturers in the um, classrooms. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Worse off is that um, there is another strike which is currently in force uh, being organized by the Senior Staff Association Universities of Ghana. So their strike is sort of coinciding with the strike of the University Teachers Association of Ghana. Good morning, what's your name? I'm Deborah. D Deborah, um, so you're a student of the University of Ghana, correct? Yes, please. Which level? Level 100. Level 100. You had a lecture this morning? Yes, please. Okay, T tell me about the lecture. Um, is, it, is it happening? Uh, why are you outside? Yeah, I think it's been cancelled. Yes, I came with the hopes of coming for tutorials. We were told on Friday that there will be tutorials towards the preparation of um, the exams, but it seems it's not coming on, so, yeah. Was there any communication to you whatsoever? Yeah, we got a letter. It was sent on a group chat, but I just hoped that there would be lectures, so I just came to find out. Mm -hmm. So you are hoping against hope that, uh, about what course are you reading, and I mean, are you done with your, with your coursework for the semester? How is this going to affect you? I'm doing biomedical engineering, and we are not done. Yes, like we have a lot to cover. And since we are just using six weeks for learning, we have a lot undone. And they were planning to use this week to finish the things they couldn't finish. But since the lectures are not coming on, I don't know how we'll be able to finish them. Yeah. I'll come back for us to talk about how this will um, affect you. And you, you've, you've mentioned the six weeks. And um, there's, there's a peculiar explanation to why the University of Ghana is doing six weeks um, for lectures and not the original 13 weeks as you have it. I'll give that to you. But what, what's your name? Etonam. Etonam, I saw you sitting out there, uh, you're reading yourself. You, you, you seem to have already taken um, the, the, the stuff into your own hands and you are, you are learning ahead of the lectures, correct? Yes, please. Okay, so tell me, what course do you read and why are you out this early? Okay, so initially, um, the normal routine was to be 13 weeks of study. But with due to the COVID-19 and then it, its outbreak and everything, it has been reduced to six weeks. And even with that six weeks, we are not able to cover everything in class. Some topics are being given to us as reading assignments. So it is up to you, the student. If you don't take on the extracurricular activity on yourself to learn more, you are really going to be left behind. So even before the coming of the strike, there was a shortfall in terms of contact hours and so on. Yeah, probably, but it was limited, more okay. of online and then less of face-to-face. -face. Okay. But with this second semester, I'm a level 100 student, okay. so with this second semester, we've had more face-to-face -face than online mm. lectures, mm. yes. And you're hoping that this morning you'll have your lectures um, to, to, to teach you, but that's not happening. Yeah, hopefully, but if it doesn't come on, we still learn on our own. Okay, let, let me speak to this lady. Well, this lady tells me she's coming from um, Kwabina. You can confirm that, correct? Yes, so you're coming from Kwabinya, uh, it means that you're not a resident uh, on campus? Yes, please. Okay, so you had a lecture this morning? Yes, I don't know if it's coming on, but for me, I thought it was coming on. Okay, and so, and so you prepared and came? Yes, please. T Tell me, what did you find when you went to the class? <laughs> Nobody was there. Say again? Nobody was there, please. N Nobody was in a class? Yes. But are you done with your um, coursework and so on? Yes, please, majority. You're done with the majority of it. But you have exams this week, correct? Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, so this, is, this week is supposed to be your uh, what, uh, revision week? Yes, please. Yes. And then you're not having electricity like, around? <laughs> no, please. Okay. And so this is just uh, you know, the, the situation here at the University of Ghana. Um, the students sort of walk in and walk out because of the absence of the lecturers. Uh, the lecturers are demanding um, what they call uh, proper conditions of service, as you would have it in 2012, the uh, single spine salary structures adjustment put them a little over $2,000 at entry level for um, lecturers. But that is not the situation here. Now they are demanding that must happen or else they are not returning to the class. And indeed, they are not in a class. Uh, from here at the University of Ghana, um, reporting for joining us. If you can hear me back in the studio, uh, anymore, back to you. All right, well, thank you for that, Manuel. 
Um, and Israel, you were asking, you know, how come some of the students are not aware exactly. that um, there's a strike going on? But I quite remember when I was in university, you know, it's a completely different ecosystem. Really? You know, so you're asking, you know, don't they watch the news? Don't they, they follow? Don't they nah, listen. fam. It's also we're on social media. We're listening to music and chilling. We're not just watching. No, but the news is also on social media. I mean, it is. But then also remember that there's also a lot of, um, what's the word, uncertainty. So you hear that there's a strike. But perhaps if you haven't received official notification, you kind of still want to go to school. But then I also want to think that, well, you're on a uh, WhatsApp, you know, WhatsApp, WhatsApp group yeah. for your class. So some information comes through, you discuss, and then you decide that, okay. The discussion is the thing, because some Kwame somewhere also, nah, Charlie, we they come school, like, yeah, you know, the lecture will come. You know, and then it becomes, it's, it's I, I, uh, I can relate to uh, that. Otherwise, it could also be that, yeah, yeah, they want to meet someone on campus. Oh, yes. And I mean, most importantly, I think that the best thing to do during um, seasons like this is to come to school and study right. so that you're not actually missing out because they do have exams soon. Okay. So. All right. So we're going to be continuing with the show, but we've been checking with uh, Nane Ojima at KNUST. We couldn't get to speak with him. But he tells us that indeed the, yeah. the strike mm -hmm. is in full force on the campus of uh, KNUST as well. Yeah. So, yeah, we're taking a break. And when we come back, uh, there's a conversation about breast feeding. You have to pause, don't you? Yes, well, the Ghana Health Service has shown that there's a decline in breastfeeding. Less than 50% of newborn babies are being breastfed. Um, if you're a mother, that's alarming because you know the value and the importance of breastfeeding your children and it sets them up for life. So why are we not breastfeeding our children as much as we should? What is causing this terrifying... The breastfeeding is good for um, the children. Mm -hmm. What are the nutritional values for the adults? Oh, well, well, there's no nutritional value um, for adults in terms of breastfeeding. But as a mum, um, when you breastfeed, it contracts your uterus. So your uterus is able to come back to its original size. Um, it also helps you with um, shedding the weights that you may have gained during pregnancy. And there's also the release of the bonding hormone oxytocin, which helps you to bond with your child. So they're very, very important benefits. There are no benefits to the fathers, except, of course, watching as the woman you love breastfeeds the child that you love. We'll be back. This is the AM show.